Well, welcome to Oracle Linux, What's New for Administrators? Uh, this is the course introduction. Uh, we have timing information for you here, the lecture, 20, 25 minutes. And then you'll have a practice where you get to go out and explore your environment. Uh, and the TOD support folks will give you your connection information uh, as you get in and get ready to do your practice. All right, we're going to, in the very next lesson, install and configure Oracle Linux 7. Uh, you'll configure the boot process, we'll manage services, which is entirely new uh, in Oracle 7 compared to uh, Oracle 6, Oracle Linux 6. We'll configure the networking on host 02. Uh, we'll install and update packages. We will configure storage. We will perform security administration with the new firewall tool. We'll configure system logging. We'll configure open LDAP, probably the toughest lab in this course. Manage resources with control groups. And then that management of resources leads us right into Docker containers, small, lightweight uh, containers. It's a three-day event. Uh, your TOD recordings at home will be much longer based upon your schedule or much shorter, okay? And so in day one, there's four lessons. Uh, in day two, there are five lessons. And in day three, there are three lessons, but once again, lesson 10, uh, the one with the LDAP, uh, has a much longer uh, practice. Okay, just so you'll know. Um, we don't have a classroom environment here. You're at home and I'm in the studio. Uh, but we'll get you to start, log in, and start and stop virtual machines. And you're going to have a whole host of VMs uh, that you're going to use uh, in this class. Obviously, we're using Oracle's virtual machine server technology. Uh, it's an x86 environment, x86-64. And so you'll be given a machine called Dome Zero. Uh, this will be the IP address that you'll receive, uh, and it's a desktop machine in one of Oracle's classrooms that are not necessarily being used that particular week. The virtual machines are unprivileged domains, so they're referred to as Dome Use. And they'll be... Uh, dome 1, Dome 2, Dome 3, Dome 4, and 5 and 6, I think, in this class. And so some of those will be up, some of those will be down. You'll then take some that are up, shut them down, bring other ones up as you do the individual practices uh, for the 13 lessons that we'll do through this course. So uh, the blue screen that you see there uh, on the left uh, is your desktop connected with a terminal window open. Uh, you'll use the user root, uh, and you will come away with uh, an XM list command that shows you the statuses of the various DOM use. DOM 1, DOM 2, DOM 3, dot, dot, dot. The uh, XM command uh, is the Zen management tool. And so that blue screen on the previous screen was XM list. To start a VM, the command is create. To stop a VM, gracefully, the command is shut down with a dash W to wait. And if it's a, oh my gosh, I have a problem, then it might be a destroy, which is kind of like a kill command, kill minus nine. And then lastly, a shutdown or destroy and a start is called a reset. Okay. Now, not on your screens. There's also an XM space INFO command, info. And that gives you information about Dome Zero. This is the Oracle virtual machine host. Okay. Uh, we will use 
a BNC viewer to connect to the dome use, or we'll use the secure shell, uh, SSH. And I'll give you some commands uh, in the lab, in the practices, uh, to help you down through those connections. We have literally four networks that run inside our lab environment. All right. And so uh, the those four, uh, Virtual Bridge 0, 1, 2, and 3, they are the public and three private networks. Now, in this particular class, you also have to get connected to the Oracle corporate network. And so this bond zero down here at the end is what connects us. All right. Um, we have four just individual hosts, one, two, and three, four, and then for the advanced networking lab, uh, which you'll do in the last day, we then build a uh, virtual private tunnel between two virtual machines. All right, so that's uh, VP, VN, VPN host one and VPN host two. And we'll use some of the private networks to do that with. That way it doesn't always have to be a public network. All right, once again, this introduction is meant to be brief. We'll then have a practice that is also fairly brief, although my uh, lecture during the practice may be a little longer than what you'd expect normally. So you're going to go explore Dome Zero. You're going to start and stop listing multiple VMs. Uh, and the only host that should be up will be Host Zero Two. And we'll go off and explore that. And then we'll have you close your VNC viewer connection to the classroom. We'll see you back here shortly for the next lesson. All right, uh, welcome to the activity guide for the Oracle Linux 7, What's New for Administrators? Uh, there are uh, multiple practices here. And so we'll have a, a practice that's associated with each one of the individual lessons uh, that we cover from the student guide. And so uh, I've got another PDF up here for the practices because in some of the cases there's been an update, all right, that I've had to make uh, to make some corrections uh, in the material. So uh, let me minimize this. TDE folk, TOD folks, who uh, have sent you your credentials, you'll have an, an IP address and a port number. And so for my practice here, uh, the username is blanked out. Uh, the username is BNC user. And the password is V-N-C-T-E-C-H. So Victor, Nancy, Charles, Tom, Edward, Charles, Henry. And when it brings you up, you have this desktop uh, from where we're going to be doing uh, the practices. Now, I had a PDF up to show you uh, the activities guide. So here under VNC Users Home, there's also a student guide. All right. Hopefully by this point you have downloaded <clears throat> an activities guide uh, from uh, ilearning.oracle.com. Once again, it's, it's part of the uh, credentials and set up for this class. And so if, if I double click this activities guide, it takes a moment to load uh, the PDF viewer. 
But you notice that's kind of like the same screen that we had up just a moment ago. All right. So this screen here, Oracle Linux 7, what's new for administrators? So we're going to be working with the same material. And so you have all of that on your desktop uh, that you can use. Uh, I'm going to close this here. Uh, everything that we'll do in the class will be done through a terminal window. And so a, a command that I use a lot Who am I? Obviously, I'm being a user, like I told you. Uh, where on the file system am I located? PWD, Print Working Directory. And what host name do I have? Now, notice that that host name is echoed here on the prompt. Your name will be different than mine. All right. Now, we really want to run this class not as VNC user, but as a user called root. Okay. And so once again, you should have gotten a password from uh, the TOD folks. And in this case, my password for my event is 9973789. But your number will be different. Okay. Uh, I'm going to bring up a PowerPoint slide here. Uh, on the desktop PCs to be used for the lab practices, the very first time you sign on, there's a required password change. All right. So the SU command, substitute user, with a hyphen causes you then to run the setup scripts for root. And so uh, OU9973789. Now, the suggested new password, and it's just suggested, is the six letters Oracle all in lowercase, followed by a four digit number, which just happens to correspond to the year. All right. Now, in some of Oracle's classes, there's also an Oracle user. Uh, on the classroom machine, the machine that we were just on a moment ago, uh, there is no Oracle user on that particular machine, but there is an Oracle user on uh, some of the individual uh, dome U's. Okay. So let's go change the password here. So, su space dash substitute user. It says, what is the current password? OU 99737 589. And you notice it doesn't echo. It says, you're required to change. You need to put back in the current password. So, OU 99737. 589. It then wants the new password. And so uh, six letters, O R A C L E in lowercase, followed by the year 2017. O R A C L E 2017. And now Notice I'm root. I'm in root's home directory. Uh, and then once again, I'm still on the same machine. Your machine numbers will be different. Now, that EDBR2R18P0 is also going to be called 
Dome Zero through most of this class. All right. So when you hear in the text material, Dome Zero, you need to think this primary machine. Now, working in a terminal window, I can open up multiple tabs. And that way I can tab back and forth between them. And I'll show you that uh, in just a moment. So the practices for lesson one, this is just the course introduction. Now, on the Dome Use, because we're working inside of Oracle's uh, virtual machine server, we'll have root password Oracle, Oracle password Oracle. And so on any Dome U unprivileged domain that you're on, we'll have that environment. Uh, you need to log into the Classroom PC and become familiar with that environment. That's the objectives of this practice. Uh, then you connect to the virtual machines that are inside this Classroom machine. So we start with exploring Dome Zero. Okay. Uh, I've assigned you a PC or your TOD support staff has. Uh, we're running Oracle's virtual machine server. Uh, three, two, one. So uh, the terminal window that you see here, surprisingly enough, looks a lot like the terminal window that I have. Haven't opened a terminal inside that environment yet, but the two screens look very, very similar. All right. Uh, Oracle Linux uses the GNOME desktop uh, when you're running uh, in a GUI environment. Uh, and they do that because uh, the GNOME desktop takes up uh, less CPU cycles than does the KDE desktop. And so they had us open a terminal window and become root. And once again, with these new security setups I just showed you, you've got to change your root password. Now, you don't have to use Oracle 2017 like I did. You can use anything you want. But I would suggest that if you do something different, write that down. That way you don't forget it over the course of this class. So the password was not Oracle. The password was uh, OU and uh, in this case 99737. Uh, five eight nine, and who am I shows at your root. Uh, let's do a U name uh, dash A. And so the discussion here is that we're running a Linux kernel two six thirty nine three hundred, and the host name. Uh, it in my case it would be different than your host name. And so 2639300. All right. That all kind of seems to tie together. Uh, I'm going to take and do a config. I have config A. So as you can see, the virtual networks that are there. So here's the bond. I'll tell you what, let's do. Let's while we're here, let's go ahead and make that wider, wider and a little taller. So uh, you have bond zero. This is really your connection to the outside world, outside the classroom. Uh, we have on the physical machine dome zero. There's one network interface card, a NIC. Uh, it's ETH0, and then most all networks have a loopback adapter, LO, 
IP address 127.0.0.1 and notice here this is the IP address inside of the local network all right uh, moving on down uh, we have virtual uh, interfaces and then we have four virtual bridges uh, and this represents the uh, internal network between dome zero and dome use the individual machines that are used in the lab and if you want uh, more information there is some description and dialog box here that you can read in your activity guide so we've got a fairly uh, unique directory structure uh, OVS the acronym is Oracle Virtual Mach Virtual Server and so And so there's an ISO pool, published pool, running pool, seed pool. All right. Shared disk. Kind of looks like your output here. We'll add running pool to this. I'm going to up arrow, type in the word R, and host one, two, three, four. And then we've got a virtual private network uh, lab that we'll do in the advanced networking uh, last lecture, 13, uh, at the end of the week. And so you're going to have a VPN host 1 and a VPN host 2 that you're going to con get configured. All right. If we take the uh, first directory here, oh, host 1, there we go. Uh, there are two directories. There's a system.image file and a vm.config. And the vm.config in a particular directory will be used to start, create uh, that virtual machine environment. And so there's that host one. Now, if we change that directory and do a cap, So I can up arrow that, and I just go back and say CD, and so here is the Zen configuration file that allows us to store the unprivileged domain called host01. Uh, continuing on, we now want to go uh, into the seed pool, all right, and you can either do the, the CD OBS seed pool or knowing that I'm two levels deep, I can go up two levels, come back down. And then I'm in the seed pool. These are files that are used uh, to configure your environment when this class is built. All right. Uh, they also give me the ability to go back in and uh, update your environment if you're having problems with it. So uh, this is a, an environmental area uh, that you will use but you won't use it without some sort of guidance from either the TOD staff or from me. All right, so that was 1-1. Here we are at 1-2, starting and stopping and listing the VM guest. And so uh, we have a, a, an XM command. Uh, the XM command is the Zen management interface. 
uh, a command that I use that's not in the book is a command called clear. All right. And so uh, XM list shows that I have domain zero. That's the machine that I'm currently logged on to. And uh, we're running a VM called host02. The next command uh, is to do a very graceful termination of host02 with a command called shutdown-w, which says wait uh, for host02. And then we do an XM list to show that host02 is no longer active. So uh, XM and this will take just a few moments. Following up with the XM list, host02 went away, which is kind of what uh, you would expect. Okay. Now, I'm in the seed pool. So once again, I'm going to cd dot dot running pool host 02. I'm in that directory. Here we have a system image file and we have three virtual utility disks and we have that file for vm.config. And so the command used to start your VM is called create. So being in the directory where vm.config is, once again, it takes a few moments. Okay. And you notice host 02 is now running. But the number changed. If I can grab, move this up. Move it over a little bit. And so it's not to be unexpected during the course of this class that the ID associated with your individual domains may not match what's in the book. All right. Uh, it just depends on how many times you start and stop. In this case, create and shut down. Okay. So, you've been on Dome Zero. How do you now get to Host Zero Two? Now, you look at my screen, and you notice that the Zero Two is in red there on the on the last bullet. Uh, knowing that I was going to be doing this recording, I have gone through the material, and there's been some one and two letter typos that I'm going to show you in red. Uh, unfortunately, I can't tell you that they're going to reproduce this material anytime soon. I have certainly given my feedback uh, to the curriculum development staff, uh, and it just depends upon their workload. They're already busy uh, updating existing classes. So when you see something in red, just know that what you have in your book may not be correct. All right. And so we're going to now connect to Dome Zero. It's a virtual machine. And so one of the ways is to SSH host 02. All right. Now I'm going to change that command. I want to SSH. I'm going to enable X pass through.
and I want to go as root. Now the reason that I go as root is that I may not be logged on to root on Dome 0. Uh, do you want to save the RSA key? The answer is yes. Root's password, as we showed you on the first page, is Oracle. And so, who am I? Where in the file system am I? And what host name am I on? And now notice, I'm root. I'm in root's home directory, but I'm on host 02. That's different. Now, if I type in exit, I'm back on Dome 0. Now, I have had students who, over the course of the week, have four or five terminal windows open. And so sometimes uh, it's hard to figure out which terminal window they're actually working in. And so uh, we're going to do that the control R. I'm getting no results. Uh, and that's because I'm not signed off as VNC user, so I have nothing there. Ah, no, it's new. Who am I? PWD. And so once again, VNC user, home VNC, uh, and then my uh, Dome Zero identifier. All right. So SSH, enabling X pass through root at host 02. Because the RSA key was saved as root, not as VNC user, the password is Oracle. And I now should be able to do a, a control R. Ah, look at that. There's my who am I command that I just ran a moment ago from my previous window. And so I'm root. I'm in root's home directory and I'm on host 02. And the nice thing about this environment is that I can open up as many tabs as I need. And once again, I could even cover up all of the other icons on the desktop uh, if I needed them to. All right. So I'm on host 02. Uh, we want to do uh, fdisk l pipe grep for dev. Um, a brief word here. Uh, we have aliased the grep command and fast grep and extended grep to turn on colors. Uh, the default color for grep uh, is the red color you see there for dev. Uh, and the reason that we've done this is that in a lot of text, sometimes it's difficult uh, to figure out what is the string, the regular expression that I was searching for. So if they show up in coloreds, we're good. All right. And so we had some devices. Uh, XVDA that had two partitions, uh, XVDB, VDD, and VDE, and then a dev mapper for Oracle Linux root and Oracle Linux swap. All right. And all of these have been created with a DD command. Uh, DD uh, stands for clean and clear. However, CC was already used by the C compiler. And so uh, DD 
now gets translated into destroy disk. If you cross up the in file and the out file, boy, that is precisely what you'll do. Now, on Dome Zero, when we were looking at the network, we used IF config A. We could certainly do IF config A here. All right, we see all the networks that are available to us. However, The IP adder command gives, honestly, a much more compact view of the output. Still has all of the same information, okay, but a much tighter format. All right. And once again, more networking details here. Uh, the kernel that we're running Uh, is 3813 118 25EL, Enterprise Linux 7, and we're using the unbreakable Enterprise kernel from Oracle. And once again, this is an x86-64 environment. Last command is exit. Now notice that we go back to Dome Zero. You may not want to do that. Depends upon what the lab tells you to do. Sometimes we continue with the same Dome U in the next practice. All right. And so while I just logged out, I can log back in. I mean, it's just that easy. And if I needed to be on Dome Zero, all I got to do is click and I'm back on Dome Zero. But the last lesson here in practice one is logging off of your student PC. Uh, learn how to log off your student PC, and the answer is do not log off. All right. Instead, click the white X in the upper right hand corner of the VNC window. All right. And the reason that I have you do that is if you log off, then there's a very good chance that the next time you log on, you're going to get an all black screen. Okay, and uh, one of the processes that are running on Dome Zero is a process called VNC Server. And so by logging off, uh, that actually kills that process where you can't get connected again. It's easy enough to use PuTTY uh, and connect and run a VNC Server dash kill for the port number colon one and then turn right back around and run a vnc server for colon one all right and once again you'll not log off and that's lesson one okay so let's see what that looks like all right my desktop is up and running. So I'm going to go to this red box, click the white X, and it goes away. Pretty easy. But uh, bring up Wow, look at that. It's exactly where I left it. All right, so no, you don't want to log out. That ends uh, this first lesson. It's just a, an introduction to the course. 
and an introduction to Oracle's virtual machine server. Thank you very much.